case about four weeks ago in very different weather conditions. Uh, you may remember a few videos and pictures that I tweeted of uh, the garden that had just started on the outskirts of Birmingham, which, uh, you know, in the driving rain didn't seem like it would ever be finished. However, it's now finished. It's a glorious sunny day. And I'd like to show you some of the elements that have got in, gone into the garden uh, and so give you some ideas as to how you can attract wildlife into your own garden. And we'll start now with the first and foremost the quintessential element of any wildlife garden, of course, the wildlife pond, source of all life. And it's surrounded by native wildflowers, as you can see, things like purple loosestrife, common fleabane, um, marsh marigold, shallow bay that end for birds, hedgehogs, anything like that to bathe and drink from, uh, rotting logs for things like southern hawker dragonflies to lay their eggs in, um, little hibernaculum at the back of the deck area, and a few logs underneath for baby frogs and things. And if we go on from that, you can see the fence has been uh, transformed somewhat by this trellis system that I've installed to encourage climbers to grow up at things such as honeysuckle, uh, wild clematis, winter flowering jasmine, ivy, uh, pyracanther as well for the berries for the autumn for birds. And at the base of that, not only has there been climbers planted, but there's also been a mix of native shrubs and trees such as gelderose, spindle, hazel, hawthorn, holly, rowan, silver birch. You know, there's, there's tons of plants gone in here that are going to be great in so many ways for insects and birds and butterflies alike. So the only other element, oh, well, there's actually the wild, I'm missing the key, key one, wildflower meadow, which 170, I can assure you, uh, wildflowers have been planted in this lawn. It's a great way of making your own little meadow. Things from primroses to knapweed, oxide daisy, cowslips. And we'll end on, every garden should have one, this little nectar border in the corner, which is full of things like salvias, verbena bonariensis, sedum, yarrow, buddleias, of course. And hopefully that's given you a few ideas as to how you can encourage wildlife in your own garden. And please comment underneath and I'll be happy to answer any questions you've got.